is Architect and History, Assistant Professor of Greater Vyasa College of Architecture. In this video, I am going to give a basic introduction on landscape architecture. So, for that, first of all, we are going to look three basic terms. First one is, what is landscape? And the second is, what is landscaping? And third is, what is landscape architecture? So, first of all, what is landscape? A picture representing a section of natural inland scenery as of grassland, woodland, mountain, and expanse of natural scenery seen by the eye in one view is known as landscape. That is, landscape is not more than just a scenery. Land means both a place and the people living there. Also, scape means to shape and also mean association partnership. So next term is landscape. So what is landscaping? Landscaping is the development of outdoor space to provide various empties like privacy, comfort, beauty and ease of maintenance. It may involve lawns, shrubs, trees, plants and flowers and structures like seating, pools, raw garden, pergolas, paved surfaces, etc. Landscaping refers to any activity that modifies the visible features of an area of land, including nature, natural, human, and abstract elements. The living elements include flora or fauna, or what is commonly referred to as gardening. And the natural elements are landforms, terrain shape, and elevation of water bodies. And the human elements include buildings, structures, fences or other material objects created by humans. And last abstract elements are the weather and lighting conditions. So, it's clear from the all definitions that landscaping is both science and art and requires a good observation as well as design skills. Hence, the knowledge and understanding of the elements of nature and construction to blend them accordingly is very essential for landscape architect and landscaper. Now, moving on to the third term, that is landscape architecture. So, what is landscape architecture? It is the design of outdoor public areas, landmarks, and structures to achieve environmental, social, behavioral, or aesthetic outcomes. It involves systematic investigation of existing social, ecological, and geographical conditions and process, process in the landscape and design of interventions that will produce the desired outcome. It is also the art of arranging or modifying the features of the landscaping and urban area etc. for aesthetic or practical reasons. Landscape architecture is a multidisciplinary field incorporating aspects of botany, horticulture, fine arts and architecture, industrial design, geology, earth science, environmental psychology, etc. Now, moving on to aims, objectives and scope of landscape architecture. Aims. What are the aims of landscape architecture? It includes to make good spaces, to provide various amenities, privacy, comfort, beauty and ease of maintenance, also to achieve environmental, social, behavioral or aesthetic outcomes. Now, objectives include to make one site visually aesthetic, to design the site with more natural aspects, to make the site more comfortable, to restore environmental aspects by designing, to keep natural elements and decorate them, maintaining all characteristics of the site. These are the objectives. And last, moving on to scope. The scope of landscape architecture includes stormwater management, private estate and residence landscaping, site planning, urban designing, environmental restoration, master planning and designing. These are the main scopes and other scopes are parks or recreational planning, visual resource management, green infrastructure planning, etc. Now moving on to the importance of landscape architecture. First of all, we are discussing the importance of landscape on economic basis and it includes increasing 
tourism revenues. That is, tourists are willing to pay extra for homes overlooking landscape areas. Thus, it helps to increase Rome revenues. And second is, it increases property market value. That is, attractive landscape increases the value of a home. And the third point is, landscaping produces crime and social activities. Also, views of landscapes increase job satisfaction. That is, employees with an outside view of plants experience less job pressure and greater satisfaction. And next point is, horticulture and landscaping industry offers job opportunities. And also, nature increases worker productivity. Means, psychologists found that plants and green spaces provide a sense of rest that allow workers with access to plants and nature to be more productive. And the seventh point in is landscape for national identity. That is, cultural heritage, including historic buildings, sites, culture, and other invaluable assets, are the distinguished elements that encapsulate a nation's soul as well as spirit. Now, importance of landscape on environment basis, and it includes plants protect soil and water quality. That is, proper landscaping reduces nitrate leaching from soil into water supply. Thus, it protects soil and water being contaminated. And next is, it helps to reduce soil erosion and improves air quality as or air purification. Also, landscaping conserves natural resources or preservation of nature. That is, by using trees to modify temperature, and protect against wind, the amount of fossil fuels used for cooling and heating can be reduced. This is, it, landscape architecture or landscaping helps to reduce noise and glare. Also, it helps in regeneration of polluted areas, storm water management, orchards and urban areas, relief from hot weather. Now, importance of landscape in lifestyle. It includes Garden-like spaces are excellent physical exercise. Gardens produce healthy foods. Horticulture therapeutic. Landscape heals. Privacy and tranquility. Better atmosphere for learning. Orchards and urban area. Provides outdoor recreation. Positive influence on people's state of mind. Now, we are going to look at the term, a landscape architect. Who is a landscape architect? A landscape architect is a person who is educated in the field of landscape architecture. Landscape architect designs parks and outdoor spaces of campus, recreational facilities, business, private homes and other open spaces. Landscape architect designs attractive and functional public parks, gardens, playgrounds, residential areas, college campuses and public spaces. They also plan the locations of buildings, roads, walkways, flowers, shrubs, and trees within these environments. Now, the goals of landscape architect are to enhance the natural beauty of a space and also to foster the environment benefits. Landscape architects may plan the restoration of natural places that were changed by humans or nature, such as wetlands, streams, and mine areas. They also may design green roofs or rooftop gardens that can retain storm water, absorb air pollution, and also cool buildings while also providing pleasant scenery. Hence, overall, we can conclude that landscaping is an integral part of our culture and plays an essential role in the quality of our environment, affecting our economic well-being and also our physical and psychological health. Landscaping is one of the most cost-effective tools for improving and sustaining the quality of life, whether in the city, the suburb, or in the country. Thank you.